All right, guys, tools you need for this job, not a whole lot. Um, ratchet, um, depending on, you know, how big your screws are, it varies. So um, use yourself either electric or manual ratchet. You'll want vice grips to be able to take the fan off of the motor if you're using the same blade. If, if you're putting a new blade on, you'll still need this to tighten that nut onto the motor, okay? And you're gonna wanna get it tight as you can get. Um, I used to use electrical tape, you know, for the wiring, some tie downs, helpful. Also, some some WD-40 or blaster to, to um, help get that uh, blade off of the motor. It sticks. It's been on there, you know, probably a long time. And then just your, you know, screwdrivers you might need as well, Phillips and flathead, depending on what screws you have, what bolts. Um, but that's about it, I think. Um, uh, I have these to kind of hold. Sometimes you, you know, if you run into something stripped, you might need to hold it with some pliers or, or a wrench, something. You know, maybe use a wrench as well um, to hold the other end while you. I had to do that with one of my bolts, but other than that, um, pretty easy. Some scissors. You might want some string. I use some string to kind of pull the wires through that rubber tubing make it a little easier for you. This is too thick, it, but it still worked, but you want something thinner if, if you can. Um, and that's it, guys. All right. Hey, guys. Um, basically, problems I'm having is last couple of years, noise started up here in the fan. Um, bearings inside the fan. What I've done last couple of years, though, probably some WD-40 lithium grease into that to stop the noise and it's worked for a couple years now um, but it is starting to get worse and not work anymore <laughs> so the noise it's time to change the fan anyway this is an old 1984 came with the house this original air conditioner this is for our downstairs thing has been awesome never had any issues with it um, until now the fan which I'm going to replace I'm going to show you how to replace here's the replacement I was able to find an exact replacement um, there's the item number or the model number sorry uh, the 4 f 448 s um, anyway able to, to figure that out by looking here at the side it has all the information still visible after all these years uh, anyway so we're gonna replace this and get rid of that noise I'm and uh, go from there Okay, first thing you're gonna do guys, shut off the power. Very, very, very important. So, which I've already done, to the off, both to the off position, all right? Your breakers, you want off completely. Next thing you're gonna do, just open this up. Here, I'm gonna take off the bolts here, around the side here, so I'm gonna need, that's where the fan's gonna come out, and to the panels. So, take these bolts off real quick. Okay guys, um, got this opened up. Now, basically what, what, how this works, your wiring runs from here. These tubes, the wires go through here, okay? And they come out there, you can see them. So it's the red, yellow, black, brown, and green wires that you see going across there, okay? And then they're gonna travel all the way over here through this hole into all the connections are, all right? So you just wanna make sure you remember where all these wires are going. So they all, this is this is from the fan motor. They're all coming down here. The brown one's going into this capacitor here. So I'm gonna remove that, just pull it up, easy. And the yellow one, and best thing what I do is take pictures of this before I remove them, make sure I know. This one already removed, uh, let's get some light up here. It's that top one there. See the one that doesn't have anything? That's where I removed it from. This yellow one, okay, just pull up from right there, pull up, ah, right there, okay, so there's the yellow, the red one actually is not connected to anything, so the red one right here, not sure why, not sure what that w wire's for, but unnecessary for this machine, yours might need it, um, and then the green, which is the ground, goes there in the back, connects, see that back there? So, oh, and the black, you forgot about the black one. I'm not sure the black one connects.
Okay guys, uh, the black wire connects right here, okay? This, and then this connects over here to this stuff for probably power, I would imagine. I think this is the power wire. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to take this off and connect the black wire here. Okay guys, uh, removed all the connections. Now you can see it all leads right into where the fan is. So we're gonna now remove the top of this and go from there. Okay guys, uh, just took off the screws, um, pulled this out, just comes right out, just pull it out. And here's where your wires are going. They should just come, yeah, see how they're just pulling straight out of here. And then you're gonna rerun the wires right through there. And we'll figure out how to get it out of there in just a minute. But you should come straight out of here. Okay, there you go. Now, you gotta tackle this. You gotta take out the blade here. Hopefully, after all these years, it's not seized on there or anything crazy, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, guys, um, sprayed some little penetrating oil on this screw. It seemed pretty tight, so just to be safe, don't wanna strip anything. And then um, just use these clamps, got a good hold of it, and pulled medium to you know strong strength and is able to break it loose with no problem this is guys this is from 1984 so um that's a huge relief <laughs> so we're gonna see how this looks here let's take this off here you can do it with me like i said guys i've never done this before i'm curious how this thing works let's take this off gotta figure out how this comes off here so that's the next move yeah guys one thing I haven't done yet is take just took this lid off the top okay that's what that is these things just pry or along the sides just pull those out um, you know, take the screws off so we're just gonna take this grate off to be able to because I'm probably gonna have to hammer that fan out so um, yeah, you gotta take this, take these screws off, and then take some, which will remove this. Okay, guys, just got this removed. Um, like I said, those four bolts, which are right here. One of them I had to hold the other side of the bolt because it was just turning. So be aware, you might have to do that. Now, it's a matter of getting this off. I've already hammered it down. You can see it's level now. Um, just did that with a hammer. We gotta be careful here how I'm gonna do this. So we'll see. All right guys, got this off. What I did was kind of hammer the top. Um, it's just, it was just stuck in there. Penetrating oil you're gonna definitely need to use here. Um, I kept going up and down, hitting it down back up and then hammering it back down. And it, you know, after a few times it just got loose and it came, came loose. So we're good to go. Check that out. Look at that. That's how many years? 40 years? <laughs> being on there yeah this thing is wow can't believe it lasted this long general electric hey they used to make awesome stuff i don't know about now but there it is so this thing just goes right on um i think the bolt went in on this flat part right yeah so when you go when you put the new one on that bolt that goes in the side it's going to go in on the flat part of this okay important right that's how it stays um so all right we got this off this thing is off so now we gotta just reverse it put the new one on hopefully there's no issues um putting new screws on this outer part i bought new screws for that those were a couple of them that stripped um got a little larger screws um other than that we're ready to put this together and see how it goes. Okay, guys. Um, this one just, you know, pops on pretty easily. Just push it on. Remember, the flat part lines up with the screw. That's important. 
Um, this is about the height the other one was at. I'm gonna push it down maybe a little more than the other one. You just want that clearance. You can see on the blade, that part right there is the closest to the blade. And the farther up you put it, the more clearance you have there. Like I originally put this all the way down and it was really close right there to hitting. So I think that's why they put these closer to the top. If you can see there's, there's a gap there still, um, which is fine. That's how, how it was before. So I'm just gonna do about the same. I have it a little farther down, maybe a couple centimeters, just to be safe. I want this thing falling off. But then you're gonna clamp this down tight here. Um, really tight, you know, not, I mean, I'm gonna over tighten it. It's kind of hard to over tighten it since the screw's going straight into the metal. So you don't have to worry about stripping anything except this part. Um, so yeah, tighten this down good. And then you're, and then this thing will be on, all right? Okay guys, I'm gonna run the cords. Here's the new fan. You're gonna run it through here, right? The new cords through here. What I did, I, I tied a string to all these and kind of let it through because it's kind of hard to get these through this part. And then you're, I'm gonna tuck this back into here, okay? Okay guys, so to pull this through. Um, this just goes back in there, this plastic piece. Make sure you're lined up here, right where the, the four cords come out with this, okay? Um, and you can see it lines up perfectly with how it was before. This is where I had them before, okay? You can see the marks. So now I'm gonna tighten this down onto here, put the screws back on this cover, and then We'll go from there. Okay guys, um, screw this back on, these nuts back onto here. Just use the old ones, actually um, one of them stripped, so I had to take one off the old fan and put a new washer, or put a washer on there. Um, and now just, you know, just put these through this hole and they're gonna run down across the top. I'm gonna tie this down after I'm done. And then through this hole into where they all connect over here. Okay, and I'm gonna secure this down now. We'll go from there. All right, guys, um, put all the connections back. Remember the black one goes here. What I did, I put this small, really small screwdriver, kind of, to get it out, I kind of cut the side a little bit because it was kind of stuck on there. And I'll just um, use some electric tape, tape it back up. But to get it back on, I just stuck this through there and pushed it on, held the other side, pushed that on. The other one, make sure you get the, the ground, got the ground connected. The yellow one connected up there, see it go, going up the top. Uh, didn't have to take anything out to, to push them on. Um, and then the brown one on the capacitor back there. There, see it? That one went on pretty easily. So all the connections, again, the red was not connected anything. I'll tape this off. Um, and I'm gonna test it here. Got the, the fan grate. Got this on good. Um, just need to put the screws in here and then I'll test it out, turn it on, everything. And then once I know it's working, I'll close everything up. I'll put some tie downs on these wires here to clean things up a bit. So some tie downs up here as well, um, just to get these out of the way. So they're not touching any pipes. All right, so yeah, everything is put together, guys. Um, Set these screws here, <coughs> get these on, and we'll test it out. All right. Hey guys, check it. It is running smoothly. Perfect. Can you see the. That's some of these strips. I got some larger holes now. I mean, keep them down, but I need to leave Shaking, right? It's a little rattle from this. This isn't like the 
just rattles just a little bit this metal piece here, but if I hold that down, there's absolutely no noise at all. Again, that's just such a, you know, I could probably wedge something in here, or maybe tighten these down a little more, get rid of that little bit of noise, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, works great, guys. Now I'm just going to put some tie downs on these wires underneath. Um, and then close this back up and you're all set, all done. Not too bad of a job. You know, I take my time, took me a couple hours. Um, I would say give yourself at least two hours for this job. Just wanna get it get it done right. Um, so, anyway, good luck. Okay hey guys. Put some WD-40 in there, and you'll want to hammer it. Just kind of push it back and forth until it comes off. It'll come off because it's too hard. But other than that, just make sure all your wiring is correct, um, and just pushing stuff through. You know, really not too difficult of a job, guys. I mean, pretty much anyone can do this. So anyway, I should save you, you know, probably 700 bucks or so. I, having someone come out to do it. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this lasts another 40 years. We'll see. Alright, peace out.